Welcome to The Real News Network. I'm Jessica Devereaux in Baltimore. He's a name you might not have heard of, but you should know. El Falciani. He is sometimes called the Ed Snowden of banking. Back in 2008, he committed the most significant theft of data in banking history. The former systems engineer at the Swiss subsidiary of HSBC downloaded details of more than 100,000 potential tax evaders and made the information available to the account holders' national tax agencies. He's been wanted by the Swiss government for seven years and counting. Here to discuss his case is James Henry. James is a leading economist, attorney, and investigative journalist who has written extensively about global issues. Thank you so much for joining us, James. Glad to be here. So, James, is Falciani, he's supposed to face trial um, in the first week of November, but he's come out saying that he would not attend, attend his trial because he won't be given a fair trial in Switzerland. Can you just briefly explain what the charges the Swiss government has brought against him? And, and do you think his claim is valid? Well, Switzerland has very tough uh, bank secrecy laws and trade secret laws, and they have uh, indicted him in absentia. Uh, he faces a trial in absentia on November 2nd, this next week. Uh, so he's wisely, I think, decided not to go back to Switzerland. He's actually in France helping the French authorities prosecute the bank that he was employed at, HSBC uh, and its Geneva branch, uh, where they had been helping more than 130,000, actually, clients from all over the planet, uh, including, including many uh, uh, politically influential people, uh, evade taxes and uh, protect uh, stolen assets. So, you know, from the Swiss standpoint, uh, you know, they don't have a whistleblowing protection law. They have uh, a kind of witch hunt that they go after. This is just one of uh, a number of whistle whistleblower cases that have actually exploded in Switzerland uh, since the 2008 crisis. Uh, and, you know, routinely they, they look at the crimes committed by uh, the so-called whistleblower and not at the crimes committed by their own banks. All right. Uh, James, can we sort of put Falciani's actions into context? Um, as I stated in the introduction, we're talking about the largest theft of data in banking history. What is some specific information to come out of this data leak? And what would be especially relevant for those citizens looking for tax justice? Well, in the case of, let's say, Argentina, which has indicted HSBC for uh, abetting tax dodging, or the Indian government, which is uh, prosecuting HSBC for abetting tax dodging. Uh, you know, Falciani has helped uh, the French as well uh, for the same basic uh, prosecution of HSBC. This is a case where this bank and many other uh, large global banks in the haven industry uh, basically help the wealthiest people on the planet evade taxes and protect uh, kleptocracy, stolen assets from their governments. Uh, you know, once those assets are parked in, in a Swiss uh, account or uh, trust or, or company, uh, they're basically uh, immune to uh, the reach of their own governments. And Falciani has, uh, I think, you know, it's just one of a number of whistleblowers who's helping to expose this behavior uh, and, uh, and bring it to light and then try to put pressure on Switzerland to cut it out. Yeah, and I want to understand what's going to be next for Falciani. He's currently living in France, as you mentioned, working with the French government. But what is his future going to really look like? Well, he was an IT specialist here. I think, you know, it's, in general, whistleblowers uh, pay a heavy price for their activities. Uh, they, you know, there have been a couple uh, that have received large rewards uh, in the United States, Bradley Birkenfeld. But in general, a place like uh, Switzerland, uh, you know, they're determined to go after them, and they've made the lives of people like Rudy Elmer, another, another uh, Swiss whistleblower, uh, you know, miserable. So, you know, this kind of uh, prosecutorial uh, behavior on the part of the Swiss government really deserves to be resisted by other countries. Uh, but so far, you know, it's the whistleblowers that are pay pay paying the price here for exposing this uh, outrageous industry. All right, James Henry joining us from New York. Thank you so much for being with us. You're quite welcome. And thank you for joining us on The Real News Network.